My roller skates finally came in the mail and I felt like it was only right to make some flare slash bell bottom pants, whatever you want to call it. But just a warning, I chose some yellow floral print fabric for this project like I'm looking at right now it looks crazy. But the actual pants came out really good. So if you're interested in seeing how I made it and making them for yourself, maybe keep on watching. And also if you're interested in seeing me show off my amazing roller skating abilities, stick around until the end. So I just started by taking a pair of leggings that I already owned and I flipped them inside out and I made sure to mark where my knee falls in the leggings if that makes sense. And I just laid them out on a piece of paper and I just went around the leggings to create my pattern making sure to leave a seam allowance. And when I got to the knee mark I just started to make a line at an angle to create the whole flared bottom effect. It's really easy, really simple. these leggings came up on me so I'm just marking the top of that and then I'm using a two inch elastic so I'm just gonna add my elastic measurement on top of the line I just created and you want to want to do the same thing because later on you're gonna be folding the elastic over so right now you want to just decide how low or how high you want your pants to come up on your waist it doesn't make that much sense right now but later on you'll get what I'm saying Once all that is done, I'm just going to open up my two pieces and lay them good sides to good side. And I'm just going to pin along those two curved edges and sew with a zigzag stitch. So then you're just going to want to take your two middle seams and separate them. And now you should have something that actually looks like a pair of pants. And you're just going to align your two crotch seams and just pin and sew down the pant legs. And now finally, it's time for the elastic. I'm using a two inch elastic. I feel like anything above a one inch will work, but you're just gonna wanna measure your waist and when you cut it out, you want to make sure to leave a little bit extra because you will be overlapping the two ends and sewing them together. So once you have your two ends sewn together, you're just going to take your elastic and start to pin it along the inner edge of your pants. sewing you're going to want to use a zigzag stitch and most likely you're going to have to pull on your elastic so that it meets the complete circumference of the waist of your pants and after that all you have to do is flip the elastic over and you have a new pair of pants